Welcome back. The Bakersfield Condors have been flying high for weeks, making history with a 17 game winning streak. And tonight at Rabobank Arena, the team will battle it out against the Iowa Wild, looking to bring home their 18th straight win. Yeah, we got this. 23 ABC Sports Director Kerry Osip joining us with a look at the potential for history tonight to be made on that ice. Kerry? Absolutely, Tim and Jess. We're not jinxing this team at all. And let me tell you, we can already see a big crowd is going to be piling in here tonight as those Condors keep seeking history and go for their 18th straight win against the Iowa Wild. Puck drop will be at 7 o'clock. But let's take a look at how this team has got here. So since the middle of January, the Condors have been winning, and they followed that with a perfect February. But the team says they are still playing loose and enjoying the run, not feeling the pressure of this streak. And their sights are set on playoffs and they currently sit in first place in the Pacific Division and have a magic number of 20 to clinch a postseason berth. And on top of consistent offense, the man between the pipes, Shane Starrett, he's won his last 14 games, 20 total, the most by a Condors goaltender in a single AHL season. So there's a lot to be happy about. And let me tell you, the crowd just keeps pouring in. We're seeing a lot of Condors at blue and orange, and there's going to be a lot of fun tonight. A lot of high energy, as we've seen throughout the season. As this team keeps winning, people keep coming to see what the action's all about. So we can expect a big game tonight. But of course, in some other sports news, we have some high school teams that have been winning as well. Over in state playoffs, three local high school teams have advanced in the state playoffs this weekend. The Garces boys soccer team will be playing for a state championship on Saturday after a 4-1 win over San Dimas in the semis. San Dimas, excuse me, in the semis. While McFarland girls basketball team, they have also advanced to the semis after a win at home as well. And as the Foothill boys basketball team, these players are now hungry for a state title after their win as well. Our confidence is really high, you know, going into state, um, especially these late rounds, you know. Uh, we're looking to we're looking to put a banner on the opposite side of the gym, so we can have two of them. We always look at it during practice. Coach always mentions it during practice. Just, we got to bring another one back to Foothill. We're gonna be here for a little bit. <laughs> and of course, those teams are winning as well as the Condors. So we wish them all the best of luck. And guys, we got some great Condors action here. We got some fun. You can see here with the mascot. And we are looking for those winning vibes, so you better send them our way. And guys, just for good luck, I'm going to ring the bell. Let's go, Condors. And I will send that back to you guys. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're ready. They're ready. Oh, I feel yeah. it. It's, it's got happened. some moves. 18 on the way. All yeah. right.